Oh boy, you guys. Are you ready for this? Oh, here we go. It is the new planet. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that little street. I love it. Oh, and the main wolf looks so amazing in those graphics. And is that the main wolf itself? Oh my gosh, they have puppies? We get to interact with our puppies first thing? Oh, and is this my butterfly habitat? I am completely ready for the butterfly habitat. You guys have no idea. Wow, look at all of this. Not very big, but that's okay, because we're going to be doing quite a lot with it. <sighs> Cute. <laughs> all right, you guys. So hello and welcome to the Grasslands DLC for Planet Zoo, where we're actually diving into rescuing a bunch of animals from a mansion. <laughs> which is definitely something that made me laugh really hard but it is going to include working with the emu and it's going to include the nine banded armadillo the striped hyena the maned wolf butterflies i think i'm forgetting somebody <laughs> a whole bunch of fantastic new animals and a new challenge that we will use to explore all of the new features including the free update with guided tours so let's see what this is all about the perma america educational reserve Hey there, just dropping you a message to say hello and tell you how much I'm looking forward to meeting you so we can get the whole permit issue sorted. Normally, my daddy fixes these things, but I guess the person he usually pays at the government wasn't unavailable for some reason. So random. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to you teaching me all about how to run a zoo. <laughs> just joking. I think I've got it covered already. Thanks. This is basically a publicity exercise. If anyone is going to learn anything, it's you about why dressing animals up fashionably is so important. Oh no! Oh, but because I'm super generous and legally re required to, I'm going to be lending some of my animals to the zoo. It better be a really nice place though, because they haven't, they've gotten pretty used to having rooms with in-suites. Oh boy. Alright, that's Tiffany. That's the woman who actually happens to go ahead and own a bunch of the animals that she's now donating to this teeny tiny zoo in this gigantic... Like, it almost looks like a caldera, my goodness. <gasps> Look at her armadillos! Oh no, they have a baby! <gasps> you guys, they already have a baby! Oh, I, I, I just have no idea how I'm gonna handle this. That is too absolutely precious and cute. Hang on, little one, I'll be spending time with you in just a second. But let's look over what we need to do. The Perma America Educational Reserve is a small establishment that aids in the rehabilitation of animals. We also spend a lot of time educating students and visitors alike, but our newest apprentice seems even more trouble than we're used to. Still, a little challenge has never stopped you before. So to reach bronze rank, we need to build an animal trade center, have at least six different habitat species in the zoo at 80% welfare, hire one vet, and have three different exhibit species in the zoo. No problem! I'm sure we're going to be able to handle all of those things without any stress. I should probably check on the finances first thing. <laughs> Because <laughs> that tends to be the thing that gets me in a little bit of trouble. I'm going to just gently see. There we go. You know, just a little off the top. I'm sure our guests won't mind. We'll be, the zoo ticket price is fair. The zoo feels small. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It kind of is right now. We need to get their education way up. And it looks like they have nowhere to get anything for refreshments. Or, um, <clears throat> you know, to encourage them to spend more money. Uh, so, ooh, ooh. Like, okay, I'm going to have to work really hard because I'm going to get so distracted by how absolutely beautiful all of these grasses are. Just look at all of this. Isn't it so pretty? Oh my goodness. All right, so let's see. Let's back up and take a little peek at what we have to work with. Oh, well, hey, hey, we could put a drink machine right next to this well and maybe hide it under a tree in a cactus. Okay, what kind of plants? The manzantana bush might be able to hide, um, or even just honestly, a giant desert rock <laughs> might be able to go ahead and hide the fact that we're like actually encouraging people to pretend they're getting water from this well. Uh, oh man. All right, now they think it's overpriced. You guys just wait. You guys just wait. I'm going to be like getting you lots of water, you know, other essential things. Let's just throw that down before I forget, because you guys know me. I do tend to wander away and get excited about other things. Um, water, water everywhere. 
and not a drop to drink. Let's see. All right, so we can indeed go ahead and put in a gulp. Oh, a gulpy vending machine. That's not very good for your health. Ugh. All right, well, we'll try to replace this with something better for everyone in just a little bit here. Oh, look at that. What did I say? What did I say? I knew people were going to want some nice water. Now I'm just putting a boulder on top of their heads. Don't worry about that. We can back it up a little. And then rotate it just a touch. So that the illusion is there. <laughs> we can still pretend people are just like popping by the well to go ahead and grab a few things. Wow, look at all this buffalo grass and everything else. Oh, I'm going to have such a fun time with this. Look at all of the cactus. I, I don't think any of the plants are actually new with the pack. Let me double check that and then I promise we shall frolic our way away to go and play. Yeah, no, no new plants and I don't think there's actually much new construction. If there is construction, it's going to be kind of the typical things that are themed around the specific animals that have been added in. What did I just tell you guys? <gasps> Look at this! Oh my gosh, it's so cute! I'm so glad I took a peek because we have little... <gasps> they move! Oh, we are so going to be building that fairy tale zoo that I have been, like, threatening you guys with for so long. That's so fun! Oh, wow! So there's lots of butterflies that we can put out in the fields. Those would look beautiful. Uh, there's also a grassland animal sign pole. Oh, the wallaby! I knew I was forgetting an important animal. We have the wallaby, striped hyena, nine-bended armadillo. Oh, wow, you know what? I never thought about this. But these, these, like, designs are almost cool enough. Oh, and the wildebeest! Oh my gosh, I can't believe I legitimately forgot about so many animals. <laughs> and there's a the little nine-bended armadillo statue! Oh, he's so cute! I kind of want to put him, like, on the edge of the well. If you squint, he could kind of look like a little rat that you could put in like a medieval spot. Oh, he's adorable. I love him. All right, and then I never thought to do this before because I usually don't like using these signs, but it just occurred to me if I like put them down on the ground like this, that's not so bad. I wish I could like maybe desaturate it a little bit, but that actually, that might make sense in places where we have like a mosaic and it could look like it's just part of the mosaic. So we'll remember that. But anyway, <laughs> on to the actual animals, eh? So let's see. Everybody is starting off over here. I can only imagine they're arriving maybe by bus. This looks like a little church that people could come visit. I don't think anything is actually inside of it. So that means let's start with one of our first projects and go ahead and put down the animal trade center. Aww, and it kind of is cute to put it in something that sort of looks like a church because that makes me think the animals are like seeking sanctuary, for instance. All right, yes, trade center done. We have three habitat animals right now and zero exhibit species in the zoo, and we need a vet. So let's go ahead and how many? We have one keeper, we have no educators, no vets, no vendors, we have one caretaker. Oh, and of course, all of these people are going to get new names in just a second. But let's hire that vet just to get that out of the way. And I would like to welcome to the, the brand new zoo these open, beautiful grasslands, one of our fantastic patrons who make all of these adventures possible. I am so excited to really dive back into so many of our Planet Zoo adventures and our streaming so that we can really say a huge thank you to the patrons, especially in... Oh, I know it's a little overpriced. Calm down especially in the last couple months when things have been so difficult and tricky with my family. They have really had my back, like been so kind on our Discord, and it meant a lot to know we still had that financial support so I could take time to be with my sister. So yeah, I'm really feeling gratitude for them right now, <laughs> like I always do, but yeah, a whole new emotional level. So all of that said, Plasma Revolution, welcome. You are now going to be inspecting the habitats, and I probably don't even have, like, a place for you to put the sick animals yet. Yep, look at that. No vet surgery. Oh, and we don't even have a research center? Okay, that has to be changed immediately, because I feel like the research center is going to be essential if we're going to unlock the information that we need on how to best take care of all of these animals. 
And once we get this down, this is just responsible Siri, like, leaping into all these projects. But once we get this down, then I will feel more comfortable with going and hanging out with our new animals. There. That's kind of cool, because, like, you can come in here to do contemplative research, and we can rescue all of the poor animals of the zoo. Oh, dear. Now we have a mess already. All right. We need another caretaker. And then we'll start putting down some vendors so we can make some big bucks in just a second. But I would like to welcome to our wonderful zoo, Pandora. And Pandora, I normally like to go ahead and give the people who are here, um, like the different staff, like fun little immersive things. So I put her down near like this church thing. I think we're going to call her uh, Scholar Pandora. Because I like the idea that maybe she just goes there for, like, some peace and contemplation and she clears her mind by wandering through the streets and trying to, like, clean everything up and, and make the world better for all of humanity. That's really sweet. Also, these houses are so cute! I am such a sucker for any of the zoos that we build that can have houses. And then, let's add in, let's see, maybe, um, Desert Wanderer. Because the grasslands kind of remind me of a desert. So this is going to be Robert! Robert, welcome! I like the idea that he just happens to be somebody who camps out in... Ooh, that's pretty. Who camps out in this wilderness quite often. And likes to go ahead and try to keep it really nice looking for, for everyone else as well. That is just so lovely. Alright, let's go ahead and see... Oh, new animal! The emu has arrived! Oh gosh, now it's so dark, you guys. Heck, are people gonna be able to see the animals? Huh. Well, hi, little guys. Hello, my lovely armadillos. Oh, and I need to name the armadillos after you guys. Oh gosh, let me go ahead and pull up the random comment generator. One second, friends. Oh, and there we go! Okay, I'm so happy now because now we have all of you who have left comments on our previous video about the Grasslands Pack ready to go ahead and become some of the animals that populate our zoo. And I'm actually tearing up a little bit because the first story that we have in the random comment generator is actually from Karina. And instead of naming one of these armadillos after Karina, we're going to go ahead and pivot to the person or the little animals that I know you guys really want to be seeing. The maned wolves who I think are hiding somewhere in here. I'm pretty sure this is where I saw their area. Okay, our, our wonderful repair person, who I, I have a feeling I'm just like scaring in the middle of the night. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give her the name of Cameron. Cameron, I like the idea that you're Night Owl Cameron. And you just kind of show up and walk the streets at night and are like the reason people think, that, think there's ghosts here. <gasps> there we go, you guys! Oh, hello, beautiful. Wow. Here we go, a gold quality, beautiful maned wolf, who I am going to name Karina after Karina's beautiful, beautiful story. And that story is, Karina said in her comment, born and raised in Brazil, and I must say I'm team maned wolf. My grandfather's ranch always had a pair that would walk around. Sometimes they would even sleep in the porch to get away from the rain or the scorching heat of summer. Those are memories I'll hold forever. That's so sweet! Oh gosh, are we having fun? I think we're just hanging out together! <laughs> I wasn't sure if there was like a conflict or they were mating or something. But Karina, thank you so much for sharing that story with me. I, I sincerely and deeply love hearing about when you guys have had real life encounters with these animals and what it was like for you. Our patrons had so many amazing stories about seeing maned wolves for the first time. I believe, especially Annie, who I think maned wolf is like one of her favorite things in the world. And now we're going to go ahead and we are going to name the male. Dr. Allosaurus. <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. Talk about missing our Jurassic World adventures. And I left the question in our last videos of are you team maned wolf or striped hyena, I believe. Um, and we have from Dr. Allosaurus, I'm neutral because I need both, which I love. 
So it looks like our wolves need better meals. Their drink quality is going down. Okay, we absolutely have to take care of that in just a second. And they have a little son who unfortunately does not happen to have <laughs> any of his parents' genetics. But we're going to go ahead and name their son Jesse. Jesse, I'm so glad that you love maned wolves. And there you have it. You now have a young maned wolf that you are named after, or is, that is named after you. I guess you're not named after the, the maned wolf. That would be <laughs> quite the accomplishment considering we just met him. All right, are we in the water treatment? We have no water treatment for any of our animals. That is not okay. That, that would be absolutely terrible. So let's get the water treatment right here, I think. And I know our guests are probably gonna fuss about that, but I will have to move it in a little bit here. Oh, they're very thirsty. Look at all the people who are just hanging out by our gulpy machine. See? You guys probably thought it was wonky. Like, Siri, why are you spending time putting down gulpies when you should be looking at the amazing new maned wolves? Well, like, because I could tell that our guests were going to start, like, passing out in the heat, maybe? Trying to be conscientious because more guests means that we can have more maned wolves and they're adorable, beautiful babies, and we can learn more about them because we can hire the right researchers. It's all part of a master plan. You guys just need to trust me. Of course, every time I get lost looking at just dozens of plants and placing rocks, it's, it's clearly not a sign of, you know, distraction or ADHD kicking in. It is totally just a sign that um, plants are awesome. And they, I, I swear they're all part of my master plan. All right, let's put some of these. Oh, no, don't. No floating. No floating grass here. All right. All right. Behave. Behave. Almost. There. <laughs> Anything that's not too much trouble can go down. All right. In you go. Wonderful. Okay. I'm so glad we noticed that because often when you start these challenges, the animals will actually have dirty water and you won't notice until they have started to get really sick. So I'm very proud that we were able to go ahead and catch that. Oh, and we actually don't have our wonderful vet plasma Revolu revolution going ahead and doing any research right now. So let's change that to the maned wolf because they don't have any enrichment in their area at the moment. And I absolutely want to make sure that they're happy and that they've got something that they can play with. Oh, look at them! They're so amazing! Look how beautiful they are! It's really fascinating to me that they're called maned wolves, but as we talked about before, they are not actually related to wolves. These guys are not foxes, they're not wolves, they are their own special branch of the Canidae family tree. So they're definitely like kind of under what we call like the dog wolf family but they have their own branch that is completely unique from wolves. And I also find it amazing that they're actually, 50% of the time, herbivores who eat from the wolf apple tree. And it's named the wolf apple tree because these guys are such an essential, oh, beautiful, I gotta get a picture of that. Look at that. Oh, Dr. Allosaurus, you're stunning. I hope you can look yourself in the mirror tomorrow and you can just know, yep. Yep, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good looking. Like, look at that. Look at that. All right, let's go ahead. Beautiful. All right, got the picture. <laughs> oh my goodness. And yes, I know I get distracted by screenshots quite often, but it, it, it makes such a wonderful story in the future. Ah! Oh, for crying out loud. You're gonna make me move it, aren't ya? All right, maybe back here is a bit better. All right, let's see. Let's edit that. And then, you people are so fussy. I'm trying to do right by my animals. There. Is that far enough away that they won't fuss at me? Negative impact on the guest. Yes, okay, that'll do, that'll do. Now I just have to select all my poor little rocks and scooch them over. No, not you, Gross. No, 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 back off, oh dear. All right, I swear we're gonna go look at the emu in just a second. And I'm trying, my, my wonderful Australians, thank you for uh, helping me figure out how to properly pronounce emu. I'm going to practice. It can take me a little while to get it right, and I am so deeply grateful for your patience. All right, so we'll put down some grass. What is this? <gasps> That's just normal grass this whole time. I was like, oh, wow, look at this amazing new plant we have. No, it's just normal grass. 
Wow, now that I think of it, I don't think other than our savanna like area for our safari park, I have ever allowed grass to just grow. <laughs> like I, I don't think I've ever just let it let it happen. Um can I do like intensity? Whoa! Oh my gosh. Oh I'm gonna have so much fun with that. Oh my gosh. Fill in all the little gaps! Give me more pieces of grass, yes! <laughs> that is so much fun. Okay, yeah, I don't know why I haven't been doing that because it's clearly like making my life completely like full. All right, we knew we do need to put down trash cans. Gosh darn it. I want to spend all my time looking at the animals. But y you know, it's really important that you take care of the things that you notice when you notice them. Let's see. Restaurant patio heater, no, no, no. Just a zoo bed should be good. All right, I'm gonna put a zoo bin over here so people can feel ashamed of themselves if they see there's a bunch of trash. Actually, does recycling count as the same thing? All right, throw your recycling away. Be eco-friendly. And speaking of bees and eco-friendly, do we have, hey emus, I'll, your muse, I'll be in there with you in a second. How are we doing on our butterflies? Yes, hmm, let's see, all right. Uh, friends? I think they're all dead. I don't see any butterflies. If we have butterflies, they have buttered flight away. Hmm. Let's fix that. Maybe that is like a super duper easy fix. Oh, and it doesn't have a name. Yes. We'll go ahead and name our butterfly exhibit. Um, I think actually after one of the patrons because we have so many patron names and I don't think we'll hire like 107 people. So <laughs> maybe this will help out because now we are going to have M Mal Beloved, Mal Beloved Butterfly Pavilion. Yes, it's more of a like house than a pavilion. And I know that because my husband actually studies ancient Chinese pavilions for like his actual research, but we're just going to go with it because I think that's awesome. And uh, we need to go ahead and add in some more species. So what does the animal market say? Wait, where are my butterflies? Hello? Species? Giant brewing, oh, it was on giant brewing cockroaches still. <gasps> They're so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love them. The cloudless sulfur. She lives for like a minute and her fertility is nothing, but people can look at her. And then we have another cloudless sulfur who's a little more expensive. Let's get, oh, a gold quality mail. And then maybe we can go ahead. Okay, she's not very healthy, but we'll move on. Oh, the European peacock. Oh, they're so pretty, you guys. My eyes are just twinkling. Okay, I hope we have enough money just to like, oh, wow, the blue morpho. Wow, okay, yeah, this is fantastic. Let's get a couple. Uh, we also have Philippe and Wilson. There we go. And the monarchs, of course. It looks like there's mostly just male monarchs at the moment. And old world swallowtails. Oh, this has to be like more than enough amazing butterflies to get us started, right? Oh my gosh. It'll be interesting to see with the species that we started with, which ones are going to go ahead. Her first animal exhibit, yes. We have 15 now. Oh boy. Okay, so now we have three different habitat species, no problem. We need to make sure the exhibit is good for them. It is too hot. Is there, oof. their temperature range is 70 to 75 degrees. That is extremely specific. So let's see, wait, 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 72, stay there. Okay, so that's good. We apparently need more things for the layout, which we need for research. We're gonna need a butterfly researcher for sure. And then management, staff work zone, finances. Um, <gasps> the butterflies! Okay, 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 I really wanna see this. I really wanna see this. Hello? <gasps> I found a blue morpho! Oh, they're so pretty. I really, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Oh, they're so beautiful. You guys, they're so small. And we know from our fruit mats that you can have like well over a hundred of the exhibit animals at a time. Oh, that's so amazing. Okay, let's go to standard mode. 
so I can really get up in there. Hi! They're, it feels like there's, they're so tiny. It feels like we only have a couple. Oh, I need to put little signs in. I need people to come and like admire them. Like, I think we definitely need more feeders and things. <gasps> they're flying! Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. Oh, they were on the bush. <gasps> they're on the bushes. This is not a drill. They're actually on the plants. I legitimately thought we were going to have to do special research in order to go ahead and, and actually have this happen. Uh, like, excuse me? They will just naturally get onto the leaves here. Oh, I am so excited. I am so excited. Look at them. They're beautiful. Oh, we need to teach people about the amazing things about butterflies. And we need to get some researching in here. Absolutely stat. So uh, on that note, I'm actually going to go ahead and hire another researcher. Or another vet, I should say. Totally not a good idea in a lot of ways. Because they are one of the most expensive people that you can hire. But that's okay. Because we're going to welcome in... Uh, did I do Natalie yet? Let me double check. Not yet! We are going to have butterfly researcher Natalie. And we're going to have her just focus entirely on conducting vet research. Um, and we'll train her up later. The more you train your vets, the more expensive they get. And I need to start pivoting to earning some money because we're just throwing it around here. Um, and then we need to come in and tell our vets to come and research the butterflies. I picked the cloudless sulfur just because it's the first thing. Might as well. I bet if you help one butterfly, you more or less can start helping them all. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's going to be so much to do and so many animals to hang out. <gasps> Baby emu! Mew! I'm, I'm trying, guys. Oh no, and the, their stuff is dirty. Okay. Clearly... We are not going to let Tiffany show us up. We are going to show her how important it is to actually take care of these animals. How important it is to really respect... Yes, okay, bird poop back there. You know, we work in a zoo. You gotta get used to that. I mean, you know, zookeeping 101 is poop scooping. Ahem. But we need to show her and everyone else who comes to visit these little ones that absolutely your first priority should be to take good care of the world that you're in and should be... Oh, you're gonna play with your parent? You're looking right at them. That's so cute! Oh my gosh. Are you really gonna... Are you gonna... Are you gonna say hi to your, your mom or dad? <gasps> They're sub-vocalizing! That felt like having a drum in my ear! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, are they interacting? Free me! So we have a young adult here. And then we have another young adult. Were they, were they? My nine banded armadillo is pregnant. Oh my gosh. Look at these two. They're circ, wow, I love this. This is what it's all about. This kind of like animal interaction and behavior if you ask me. Oh my gosh, they're alloprating. I need to lie down. I'm way too happy. This is also- I'm, I'm r literally running myself into fences. Oh, hey, it's Whisty Fish! <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh! Alright, that's one of our patrons. Um, and now our maid wolves are about to mate. This is awesome! Okay, need more names! Let me know what you would work on first, you guys. And actually, you could leave multiple comments if you want. That does help the odds of you possibly being picked by the random comment generator. I don't mind. Um, what would you do? Like, if, if this was your first day on the job, too, which task would you accomplish first? Would you just want to, like, play with the animals all day first? Or would you have been like me and tried to get, like, some of the boring stuff out of the way? What do you think we should do for all of the animals? Oh, I can't wait to see what their stories are going to be. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you could, do please leave a like for our all of our amazing animals, actually. I'm in love with them all. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, then I really hope that you can find your way back here again. I have no idea about anything that you might be able to do to subscribe to our stuff or not. That's just a mystery to me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.